If you're not using Ansible check or diff mode, then you're at a disadvantage. Using these two different modes, you can run your playbooks and see how they're going to affect your systems. So let's pull up a playbook here and we'll have a look at how we can run it in check mode and in diff mode. So I have a playbook up here and all this playbook does is it uses the apt module to install nmap, which is just a basic network mapping utility that's used a lot in penetration testing and things like that. So pretty simple playbook, but what I want to do is I want to run this playbook in check mode to confirm that it's completely valid. So I have a console open here and if I were to run the playbook, I would run something like this, Ansible playbook. I give the playbook name and specify the hosts and then dash capital K to specify giving a root password. So if I were to run the command like this, it would go out and it would install nmap. But maybe I just want to check to see if my playbook's valid without affecting the end system. So to do that, all I need to do is take this command and then add dash dash check. Now when I run it, it's going to go out and see if my playbook is valid and if the host would be able to install nmap. So you can see it's gathered the facts and now it ran the task ensure nmap is installed and it says changed one. It didn't actually change anything. It just went out and saw that node three did not have nmap installed and if I were to run this playbook without the dash dash check, it would install nmap on it. Now, if I wanted to get additional information on what exactly it's going to change on the system, all I need to do is add in dash dash diff, and this is going to give a diff of what needs to be changed. Now, when you're running the diff module, it's recommended to only really run it against a single host. And that's just because it generates quite a bit of output. This is a really simple playbook that I created and you can see it did generate quite a bit of output for a single node. So you can imagine if you're running a lot of different tasks, uh, the output would be huge. And you can see that it goes through the suggested packages and everything. Uh, the following new packages will be installed and it gives a list of all the packages that will be installed. So really great information to see exactly what the playbook is going to do. So that gives us a lot of information on how our playbooks can affect our systems. Now, one thing that you can do instead of adding these check or diff options is add this directly to the playbook. So let's have a look at how we can add this to the playbook. And it's actually quite a good idea to add it directly to the playbook when you're developing your scripts, because if you're like me, you're going to run your scripts to test them and you want to run them in check mode, but you're going to forget to add that check module and then it's going to go out. It's going to install these things on production systems and it's it's not something you want to happen. So so it's good to put in a safeguard and just add it to the playbook directly. You also might have certain playbooks that you just want to run the checks anyways. So it's just a good thing to know how to do. So I'm going to take this playbook and at the bottom here, I'm going to say check underscore mode. And then you specify either yes or no. So I'm going to say yes. Now I'm going to hop back into my terminal here. And I'm going to take off these flags and rerun the playbook. And it's going to run the playbook in check mode by default. So there we have it. It reran the playbook and it ran it in check mode, even though we didn't specify the dash dash check. So let's head back into the playbook. And then I'm going to say diff yes and rerun the play. All right, there we go. So our playbook completed in check mode, even though we didn't specify check. And it also added the diff mode so we get information about what's being changed on the system. So I hope that's helpful. Using check and diff mode is a very important concept and it's going to be something that you use a lot in Ansible. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to learn more about Ansible or DevOps in general, then go ahead and check out my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.